Madu Pau Badasi, he demands a Peter than a Lafok and a Posixia of Fasa Nari. We have come out today, sit in protest, not as a transgender community, but as a native of Manipur. We have seen the constant terror, the extensive terror that people have faced in the state. So we demand, we have certain demands to the state and also to the Indian government because when we look into this current scenario, we just cannot confine the conversation and also our critical point of view between the killings of these two community. If we wanted to actually know the roots, the crux of this conflict we have, we also need to have a very critical understanding of the larger Indian politics. For example, the influx of uh, central forces in the state uh, in the name of protecting the peoples of Manipur, which is not really true at all. And the other thing is the nature of dependency, that the state has always dependent to the center to deal with any situation that's taking place in the state, which is very unfortunate for us, because it really shows that the leaders are not efficient enough to protect the peoples of Manipur. It's been very long, 31 days, 31 days in this digital era, suppressing information and suspension of internet for 31 days, you imagine. According to me, the government is responsible to deal with the situation and we demand the accountability of the state and also the central government because they have failed to commit to their accountability. Instead, they are, they are deliberately trying to continue this conflict for their political interests and the peoples of Manipur are now in a situation which we are facing food crisis, we are facing economic crisis. For example, 1,500 liters of water cost 1,000 and rupees 1,200. You imagine how people will survive in this, in, this, in this condition. So immediately, even we do not want to demand peace also. Peace is not possible. But how do we rediscover the trust, belongingness, and love that was once the foundation of forming Manipur that is lost with this conflict? And the, and the other thing is like, why the India government doesn't have a refugee law? Manipur is a very sensitive zone, not only Manipur, but the neighboring state, like Arunachal Pradesh, which is bordered to China, and Mizoram, bordered to Burma, Bangladesh, Meghalaya, bordered to Bangladesh. So this, all these states are very vulnerable in terms of geographical location. And we have this, at any point of time, we can get attacked from the external illegal migrant. So the India government should have a refugee law properly put place, put in place, so that accordingly they will have a policy and program to take care of that situation. Manipur border is there. 